Okay, hello parents and grade 3 students. This is another instructional video on how to do long division. I've uh, laid out the question nicely on grid, on grid paper and I've also numbered the different boxes telling you, explaining what you're supposed to do. So, on this side I have the order in which everything is supposed to be, all the steps that are supposed to be done. We have 11 in total. And uh, this one is a three is a three digit question without a remainder. So we have 800, 880 divided by five. Five is our is our divisor. This number here is the most important number. It is the number that we're always going to be dividing and multiplying by. So our first step over here, step one, divide. So we're going to divide eight by five. The closest number we can get to that is 1, because 5 goes into 8 about once. I can demonstrate up here. I'll make 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups, and I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so it would be 1 with a remainder of 3. But So next step, step number 2 is multiply we're going to multiply 1 times 5 and we're going to bring it down to the number 2 box right here. So 1 times 5 is obviously 5. Alright, now step number 3. Step number 3 we got subtract. So we're going to subtract 8 minus 5 and we're going to bring it down to box 3 here. So 8 minus 5 is 3. Fourth step. Fourth step we're going to bring down. What are we going to bring down? We're going to bring down the 8. The 8 is up here. So you can do it a couple ways. One, I like to, you can either show an arrow coming down like this. Two, you can cross it out to show that you brought it down. But regardless, we're going to bring it down. And so now we have 38 down below. So the next step is we're going to go 38 divided by 5. The closest number we can get to that would be 7. So, the, again, the fifth step we divide. Divide goes up in the fifth box. The closest number we can get to 38 is 7. Okay. The next step, obviously, we multiply here. If we multiply, we're going to put the numbers down into the sixth box. And this is where I find students get a bit confused. Sometimes they only put the numbers in here. Really, you should put them in both boxes, so it's directly under 38. So, the question is 7 times 5 multiply equals 35. Okay, step number 7. We're going to subtract. We're going to subtract 38 and 35, which is 3. Step number, sorry, that was step number 7. Step goes in the seven box. Step number eight, again, we bring down. Again, I can either do one of two things. I can show an arrow, or I can just cross the zero out. So I bring down. So now I have the number 30. Step number nine, I divide. 30 goes into five six times. Step number 10, I'm going to multiply six times five, which is 30. Again, it goes in the 10 box down here because this is step 10. Last step, I'm going to subtract. This is the last step. It's going to give us the remainder. So I'm going to have 30 minus 30 equals 0. So I got my, my final answer is 880 divided by, 880 divided by 5 is 176 with a remainder of zero. So there's our first one. On to the next question. Okay, this question is again uh, very similar. Again, we have a three digit dividend with a one digit divisor here. Our divisor is six and our, our dividend is 585. Again, what I've been trying to explain to, to the students is that think about you have 585 
things. So let's say we have 585 dinars and we need to divide all that up between six people. This case, we are going to have a remainder. So it mu it so all the steps are going to be the very same as the first time, except the final step. The final step, we're going to get a number other than zero. So let's begin. So our divisor our divisor is six. So we start off looking at five first. So five doesn't go into six. How can I tell? Well, let's see. Over here I can make one, two, three, four, five, six groups. One, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't work, so what I'm gonna do is up in the number one box, I'm just simply gonna put down a zero. Okay, simple. Next step is we're going to multiply again. So step two is multiply. It's going to go into the number two box. Zero minus six is, sorry, is zero. All right. Step three. We're going to subtract. We're going to subtract five and zero. So step three again, step three box. Five take away zero is five. Our next step is number four, bring down. Bring down the 8 into the number 4 box. I'll cross it off to show that I've done it. So, now we have 58. Our next step is divide. We're going to do 58 divided by 6. So, the closest number I can get to that is, let me think. Well, 6, six times 10 is 60. That's too high. The next lower would be 9 times, nine times 6, which is... 54. So we're going to have, so that's the closest I can get, 58 divided by 6. Our next step is we're going to multiply. I'm going to multiply 9 times 6, which is 54. Again, one digit per box. My next step is I'm going to step 7. I'm going to subtract these two numbers. So we're going to subtract, I'm going to subtract Hopefully my pen will work again. There we go. I'm going to subtract 58 by 54, which will get 4. I'm then going to step 8. We're going to bring down. I'm going to bring down the 5. Bring it down. Again, I might cross it off if I want to. So now I got 45. So let's think. Okay. If I multiply 6 times 8, I'll get 48. That's too high. If I multiply 6 times 7, I'll get 42. So the closest number, 45 divided by 6, the closest number I can get is 7. Again, we're gonna, our 10th step is multiply. We're going to multiply 7 by 6. Bring it down, 42. Our last step is subtract. So we're going to subtract 45 and 42, which is 3. So, our final answer is going to be 50, so we're going to have a, remain, a remainder equals 3. So, our final answer, 585 divided by 6 equals 97 with a remainder of 3. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, keep, keep, uh, keep checking your emails right on a regular basis. Thank you very much.